Hey there folks, I'm Jay and thank you for joining me for the second episode and another step on our journey. I'm sure that many of us that grew up in the 80s and 90s made a pinhole camera out of a shoebox and tissue paper. I remember it as a fun project, but I wanted to take it a step further and actually add the ability to capture the images made by the pinhole. As it turns out, a DSLR camera is the perfect platform for this. Let's do it. Before getting started, remember that you will most likely void any warranty that you have on the camera. Also, you'll get the CCD a little dusty, so be sure to have an appropriate cleaning kit available if you decide to try this. Not all cameras are made the same way, so how you go about placing the pinhole and protecting data transfer pins will be determined by the make and model of the camera you have. Don't forget to remove the battery. I will be using aluminum foil for the pinhole to keep the hole as small and crisp as possible while keeping internal dust levels down. The first step is to identify the camera shutter. In a DSLR, there is a mirror that allows the light from the lens into the eyepiece. When you take the picture, the mirror moves upwards to uncover the charge couple device, or CCD, which is the chip that takes the place of film. We need to get the foil as close to the shutter as possible, but we don't want it to contact the foil when an image is exposed. In this camera, there is a flat surface flush with the shutter's open position and at the exact distance from the CCD to focus the light from the pinhole. Cut out the foil in a shape that is just slightly larger than the area of the shutter recess. Notice that there is a shinier side of the foil, and you want that pointing out. The less reflective side will be on the inside. Covering it in black sharpie might enhance the effect, but you run the risk of ink flaking off into the camera, so I decided to just leave the bare metal. Carefully tape it onto the recess, being careful to keep it flush with the recess and not allowing it to drop in the way of the shutter. Try to keep the foil as tight as possible, and be sure to cover any potential holes along the sides to prevent excess light from entering and washing out the image. Now locate the exact center of the shutter recess and very carefully take a fine sewing needle and just barely pierce it with the point while holding it 90 degrees to the foil. You want the hole to be as small as possible and as round as you can make it. Ensure that the foil is not sinking into the shutter recess and there you go. Put the battery back in and you are ready for some creative outdoor photography. Here the camera is in manual mode with the shutter speed of 150, ISO of 6400, colors neutral, and the white balance set for outdoor photography. Now for the results. Pretty crude, but functional. I cannot imagine a scenario where this would be practical, but for an artistic touch it might be viable. Here is a selfie. I don't personally know anyone who has taken their picture without an actual glass or plastic lens or even an optical mirror stack, so this was pretty cool. I even took a short video, and the effect reminds me of an old and worn out 8mm film strip. Not too bad if you like that kind of look. Well that's it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed it. Creativity with a camera is an important step in any photography adventure. In fact, modifications to the camera can be important when photographing objects in space. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell. It really does help me out considerably. I'm Jay. Have fun, be safe, and I will see you next time. Well, if you've ever wondered what I'm looking at whenever I'm shooting, this is what it looks like. That's what I'm looking at. I'll see you next time. Fly the nose. This is wonderful fodder for laughing at me, okay. No flies in the nose. I hate these little boogers. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> Photography in detail how I took some of the images and the data into the blah 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 blah.
this is really going to sound wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> no, no, shh, quiet. Quiet. Let's do it.